welcome to my channel. My name is Marina and I'll be doing your reading for today. It is a general love reading so it might not resonate with all of you. It is for your sun, moon, rising and Venus sign. I hope you enjoy your reading for today and for all you cross watchers roles can be reversed and energies can go both ways and I'll be doing a tarot reading for your love situation. So do let me know with thumbs up if you like the reading and if you want to support ch my channel please subscribe to it and share with your friends and loved ones and love and light to all of you and with that being said let's begin so virgo this is your reading for the next three months from march to may for 2022 and i'll be taking a look into your recent past your current energies and your not too distant future and then i'll finalize it with some advice and messages from the universe so let's begin shall we messages from the universe from march through to may 2022 for my lovely virgo Messages from the universe from March through to May 2022. So let's take a look into your recent past, shall we? Okay, wow. Let's have a look here. My lovely Virgo. We've got the Hermit card in your recent past. So that tells me there was time spent in a peaceful meditation and you were, you know, you were seeking out some spiritual, you're going through some self-discovery and wanting to know where you stand, having some time out and, and seeing where you were at, you know. So you've had some time to reflect, you know. And same time, there was a love situation, a passionate relationship that you've been thinking, considering and you've had time alone. I see that there were, you know, uh, time spans where you were spending time alone and you had time to, to gather your thoughts and have a think about this. And you've seen a logical and perspective. You've seen a logical way of this. And um, you've been reviewing and thinking about everything, going back in the past and thinking about everything. You've come up with some ideas, some ideas that you want to communicate you desperately wanted to communicate these ideas with somebody that you loved. But at the same time, I feel that there were issues or some blockages or ways that you couldn't really communicate your needs. But you've had some time out to think and uh, self-discover and know what you want and what your priorities were. So in your current energy, my lovely Virgo, in your current energy, my goodness i see love love with this ace of cups i see love a beautiful new emotional experience a romantic relationship from a deep friendship um you know i see a love message a love a love letter you know there's love approaching you entering in your life um, i feel that you've had to stand up for yourself and your beliefs and you've had confidence now you know um you're not letting somebody else call the shots. So, you know, if you're single out there, you're taking all the necessary steps to find love, uh, you know, to, to be with the one you want. If you're in a relationship, uh, you're trying to communicate all your needs and trying to have that clarification with your life, uh, with your love. Um, but I see that you are standing for yourself either situation and you're believing in yourself. You've got the confidence now, Virgo, and you've got the power with you. So uh, you have all the challenges, but you will choose wisely. You've had challenges, you've had setbacks, you've had delays, you've had time alone to sit and think. But I feel that at the end of the day, you're going to manage all this. And, um, you know, you're going to see things for the way they are. You no longer want the extremity of black and white. You want that medium what's normal you know so uh, you know you want to uh, be in a situation where it works for you too and not in a situation where it's compromising or it's it's leaning on extremity so it tells me here that karma will reward you you will get back everything that you wanted and everything that you've put out there um you've been feeling you know um you know, you're you feeling that sometimes you feel you're alone and, um, you know, you're, you haven't been heard or somebody doesn't want the same dreams that you want. You know, you sit there and you contemplate and you think about this because communication is not always ideal in your situation. For some reason, I see some 
blockages when it comes to communication. So it hasn't been an ideal situation for you. But I see at the end of the day, the good that you did is coming back to you in, in, in abundance, you know. So there is... Uh, karma is going to reward you and give you the love that you want. It's going to take some time. Um, you know, uh, this love is, there's some blockages here I see, you know, between March to May 2022. But at the same time, ultimately at the end, with a lot of communication and clarity and that time out that you've had, you will be able to communicate your needs and I do see you succeeding in this. There is a story about a black and white situation. So that means that, you know, extremity, you know, um, uh, black and white, you know, so if something is uh, is not happening at all or it's happening too much and, and out of whack, um, then it needs to be, it needs to meet you halfway. You need to come halfway, balance this thing. It's something imbalanced. I see something imbalanced, you know, so something needs to be balanced uh, you know, um, I don't know whether there's a lack of control, something's gotten out of spiral, out of control, it's gotten you frustrated, Virgo, you're frustrated, um, you've had time out, you've had time to think, but it has kept you frustrated, you're at times in the dark about this thing, and at times uh, you're pretty happy about this thing, so it's that, it's that, you know, imbalance, whack, you know, so that's going to settle, and that will settle ultimately, but there are a few steps a few actions, time will be also needed and communication to get this thing, you know, balancing and having it run smoothly, you know. So in your not too distant future. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is amazing. Look at that, Virgo. Most of the major arcana is. I love that. In your not too distant future, it tells me that there's an end, an end to an addiction. Somebody that was avoiding you or something that no longer was working for you, something that made you sad, something that didn't work, something that brought some tears. You know, I see tears and tears are being shed and sadness about a situation. This situation, it's going to do a complete turn. I see a complete turn in this for you, Virgo. Um, there's wishes that are coming true. Um, you know, uh, you've done the work, you've had time out, you've tried to communicate, you've, if, if you've kept your distance, you've kept your distance, you've done the necessary, whatever that was for you, the necessary sacrifices, you've done the necessary sacrifices for your love. And with that, I see that your wishes are going to come true. Um, there's turn of events that are going to take place that are going to uh, have, you know, meet you and give you your true desires. But at the same time, uh, there's some justice here that needs to be served. So I feel that you're waiting for some justice because you've given a lot and you've done a lot and you're trying to balance yourself. You're trying to balance your situation, but you've got the chariot here, which tells me rewards are coming from your hard work. Uh, if you've distanced yourself, if you're giving somebody space, the one that you love, uh, so that things do work out. I see a lot of sacrifice that you're in, Virgo. You've done a lot of things, uh, you know, for your love situation. And because of this, because of that, there's determination and there's willpower and there's justice. So justice is going to be served. And by justice being served, wishes are coming true. They're going to give your wishes and things that you want. And your heart's true desire is going to take place by this high priestess. It tells me that, by you meditating and turning inward to discover your soul's true desire, um, you know, you will develop your intuitive gifts and you will trust in the wisdom that you receive. And because of that, you will reach the balance that you want and you will get the justice that you want. And with the chariot, it will help you and move you along to your next path. But your wishes are coming true. You're getting the love that you want. Um, there is a sacrifice that has to be made that you've may either make, made it or you will make it. And there's some distance and some time apart. But with all that, all those ingredients and only with those ingredients will this recipe be created. So I do see this succeeding, but it needs it needs a bit of time, a bit of sacrifice, a bit of space, 
a bit of time out, a bit of balance, because things are out of whack here, and then you will get your true desire, your true heart's desire. So let's see what the messages from the universe want to advise us on what they think about this situation. Messages from the universe, for my lovely Virgo, for March through to May 2022. What is your advice and final advice for them? Let's have a look. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my goodness. No. No. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay, it ends with that. We have the same. This has never even happened before. My goodness, look at that. Their advice is, it's amazing. It's just repeated itself. Your wishes are coming true, but after a sacrifice that's being made. So they know, the universe is telling you, after the sacrifice that you're making, Virgo, they're going to grant your wishes and you're going to get rewarded by this chariot card. This is truly amazing. The cards have shuffled and re-come. They've come back the way they are, but they've ended it in a different way. They've truly ended it in a different way. So after this sacrifice, my lovely Virgo, your wishes are coming true. You're going to get justice after you get the balance back. But then you're going to make long-term plans. And I saw that in your last reading, Virgo, you're making plans that came again. You're making long-term plans with somebody that you desire. If you're in a relationship that things aren't working out, things are going to settle, they're going to get balanced, and you're going to have you're going to make plans and you're going to have amazing, uh, your wishes are coming true. If you're single and nothing has happened, you're meeting somebody, you're moving on to your next journey, your wishes are coming true, your soulmate is coming. But after a choice, after a sacrifice, after a time out, after this, you will truly be rewarded. You're going to get what you want and long-term plans are being made. That was truly amazing. A repeat a repeated story, a confirmation that you must sacrifice or you must do some time out or give time for something. Only then things are turning out A magical time is going to turn out. Have faith in the universe that all will be well by this nine of cups, but all your wishes are coming true. You will get the balance with this balance card. You're going to blend your ideas. You're going to create something amazing. And you're going to have the power of diversity by self-control, patience and balance. You will get your justice and then you will win all situations. And then and ultimately then you will start making long-term plans and abundance and happiness from choices the right choices that you made and the sacrifice that you made and the time out and the patience will help you to get you to your next chapter in life. So that was truly and utterly amazing, truly and utterly amazing advice from the universe, my lovely Virgo. And I hope you've enjoyed that. And I hope, you know, all your wishes come true and you your desires that you're wanting will all come to pass. So I hope you've enjoyed my video. Don't forget if it resonates with you, give me a thumbs up. And to support my channel, please subscribe to it and share with your friends and loved ones. If you'd like to be notified when I upload my videos, just click on the notification bell. And namaste and God bless and thank you for watching.